So the Lord looks as he has in other times, walking to and fro, listening and seeing what men and women do. What will they do in this day? Shall they just keep saying revival, revival? But who shall begin the work of the revival? The word of the Lord comes unto me saying, who shall do the work of the revival? Who shall labor in the heavens and wear and walk it out in the earth? Who shall fight the battles, go through the price, the deficiency of accolades? All these things men must do and die before the mantles that I'm speaking of today find a new place of present dominion. But it is in the heart of God for every dormant city mantle to have a living voice with. Hear me and obey, says the Lord. Hear me and obey. Run not blind with youthful zeal and pride. Hold fast to that which has been tried and true and make not fun of it at all. For in your respect comes an impartation you get no other way. In your honoring with your words and your dispositions and your behavior shall God view and watch. And if you pass the test of the Most High, then shall things be turned up and new things added to you in this day. For all over the world there is crying and weeping. There is crying and weeping because the vacant seats of authority have no man or woman to lead and to speak from. Why is there trouble in Ukraine this day? Why is there trouble throughout Europe this time? Because the vacant seats of authority have now been possessed by principalities of darkness and the men and women have not paid the price to stand there and some wish when they got close, I don't want this anymore. It's what the Lord said he heard. And so cities are now become the place where demons rage and pain and suffering flow when demons rule. Blessing and victory flow when the righteous of mine rule, says the Lord. Vacant seats of authority. Who shall stand in them? Who shall execute from them? And who will carry them? Ask the Lord. For there were times in this country when I had the the person in the White House was my man. And the one next to him was my man. And great was the blessing. And all the enemies that came against you fell and faltered. Because I worked through them that sat in my seats and ruled with my wisdom and carried his power with humility. Who shall sit in the seats of authority? Who shall not just say, oh, I see and understand, but who shall work and do the labor? For much labor must be done for the fields have now grown up. The plows that have plowed in the past have grown old and the weeds have taken place. So turn and go to work. Turn and enter your end time labor. Turn and go work the fields of harvest and work the atmosphere of dominion. For great shall be the rulers that will obey my voice and do what is right. Great shall be the fruit of their life. And many will stand and say, I don't understand. But the Lord says, you will understand because you will be the one that will help pioneer some of this for others. The day of your national voice, Jason, has come. The day of that voice and that power has come. There shall not just be growth, it shall explode and you shall go and you will really grow. But beware of those things that have come. And you know, says the Lord, how they snuck and found their place. They still wait again, but you'll be smarter and you'll be wiser for this is the day that you've been waiting for says the Lord. Hallelujah. (laughs) Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Mandeve siki libaroso banda lebra bastos. Melelioso, colobola liatai. Fede kala kosa banda le limbatofe debe. Mene ngalugu gala kat sakadiki du kute. Ha ha, sugolonda ba le gyondo, sugolola bahai. 
Fan menen nu sulu kuran de kitek. Fede bede kundu go dagatas. Mandeliki asukos kun legeke de kidas go no te. Ha ha ha. Solo fra parra ve friske. Frambonka da banka da vorosto. Fleblinga, landongo, sabrakatai. Ho ho. Flebika te kasakasu go no. No le bede kisakada nai. Menini ando, the nan so called home for a bacata co severing English, for a boss so called a buffer a petes so no no go no. For giftings have I given you, says the Lord, but some have not even made a showing but once or twice in minor form in your life. These gifts, the day of their revealing and operating, has now dawned in the time of the heavens. And the earth will be in shock, but you and others like you work with those giftings and learn the path of them and the life that must be lived next to them. Live it without regret, without complaint, and self-sorrow. Wear that cross as the greatest medal on your lapel. For there are those who have tried to be, but they did not pay the price. They sought the crowd, the cash, and the light. But that is why they did not last long, and they were quickly to fade away. But for you that have lived the life that is required for the gift to operate correctly upon and through, shall have great reward and longevity. I hear the Lord say, longevity I desire in my ministries. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Longevity. Yes, God. That they finish the day. They finish their work and their labor. They finish it and not live in the regret of the undone labors. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Father. For the great generals of the past, most of their children carry not their graces or their mantles. So let it be known throughout the earth that the pursuant ones, not just the biological ones, will have the chance to carry the mantle of power. So don't be intimidated, says the Lord, by those who are biologically connected to that which you carry. Let them befriend you but not control you. Do not be under but be above that mentality. For there will be jealousies. There will be accusations. But remember, fruit shall always answer the concerns and the questions. Longevity and fruit bearing shall be a sign that men will say, this is the Lord. This is him for this is his character. This is the fruit we told us we'd have. And great will be the joy in those days. Great shall be the joy. Great shall be the joy in those days, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we can come to the keyboard. Lift your hand up just for a moment. Let's just worship the Lord. I don't think he's through, but he may not need me to, to do what he needs to do. He might just do it directly. Hallelujah. Solo frapa hala hete seheya. Manako sololo patefiti kisamanda haye. Melelia, salala lokoto, flabala liliante. Inga la cosa bacasa bataka da heye. Yes, rearrangements. And manaconsa batakana mana haye. Rearrangings. Rearrangings. Rearrangements in this nation, in this city. Rearrangings. Let the heavens rearrange the earth. You have something you want to sing out or something? If you have it, just obey the Lord. Hallelujah. Just keep your hands up just for a few more moments. I know it's a little bit later than normal, but just a few more moments. Solo boroko da lebekine mamahaye. <laughs> oh, I love you, Jesus. Thank you for letting me live at this time and this season in the earth. To know them that were and them that are to come. 
Mada de kederi bi yosu kolor boroko da lebe bahaye. Ono manda de de kisu mana haya. Mere vidi hira hasu kolor bahole behe ya. We give you all the glory. hearts, soul, mind, and strength. sons of the prophets looked upon Elisha and said, we see that it has come upon you, and so shall men do the same to you. They will see it, and they'll acknowledge it, and they will follow, live well, do right, stay close to the soundness of Scripture, that you may end well in this city and this nation. For much will be contingent upon you warning in seasons of battle. The resurrection of churches and gifts are connected to this thing. If we don't have it, great shall be the loss and great shall the darkness be. But if men and women who I've called and who've chosen to stand up and say, I'm willing, will obey. The revival that I promised shall be seen in your time. It will not be seen in your children or grandchildren. It will be seen in your time. And Father, we want to see it in our time. In this moment. In this generation. In the midst of all that is happening. We want your purpose and your move. Let darkness get darker. Let we, the children of light, get brighter and brighter, stronger and stronger, and happier and happier as we go forward. So shall the earth say, what is up with these that sing and shout and dance when we are scared, afraid, and hide? For the light has come. The light has come. The light has come. 
and them in darkness shall see a great light and they'll run into it. They'll run into it by the thousands, by the thousands. All ages and all gender and all ethnic backgrounds, they shall come running. They shall come running. And great will be the day for it will be said at its end, things were fulfilled as they were told us long ago. Hallelujah.